amazing cast, man. Like, I knew the movie wouldn't wouldn't fly or live without Lakeith. So as soon as I had him, I could breathe. And then I could um, spread my wings and approach everyone else I need to. But I needed Clarence. And Lakeith, for me, was born to play Clarence. If he refused to do um, Clarence, I wouldn't have shot the movie. I wouldn't have made the movie until he agreed to do it. It's such a gift. I mean, it's not often that you get to work with filmmakers that are so daring and so open and fresh and new and have a unique perspective and one that I align with. So I just felt really lucky to work with them several times now. And uh, this just feels like something that we walked arm in arm, you know, together to try and figure out and bring to people. So, I mean, I was just really humbled by the experience. It was great. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, like obviously Jay-Z's a GOAT and you know, having support for films like this, when you're making a black film, you want to have a lot of support and people that can really stamp it. And so, you know, having him as our backbone was really important for us to be able to even do this. So it's it's much appreciated. I mean, shouts out to him. Good fun. He is such a surprise. He's such a welcome surprise. Um, he's making a big old biblical epic. He's putting his own very personal, very modern slant on it. And he's coordinating big epic stuff and he's still just boogieing on dance floor in the middle of a set. So uh, to see somebody command that and be relaxed was really inspiring. It's so special, you know, like 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 having all these people around. Like it, it was already um, something very special to have like re re reunited all these people, you know, to work, the casting, also the producing, uh, the music, everything, there's some, it's, it's, it's gems itself, it's like too many, like, facets, you know, um, and, and it was, it was um, something really different. I've known Lucky for a long time, we did Selma together, he's just, in my opinion, a generational talent, but then you have Marianne John baptiste you have Aubrey Woodard, you have, you know, some of these younger actors, RJ Tyler as well, as Caleb, you know, it's just uh, everywhere you looked on set and in the film was someone who was also getting their time to shine. And that and that was a, a beautiful thing to see. And it's a great thing that James tends to do. It's a beautiful film. Um, it was beautiful to get that call from, from James. You know, we've been talking about working together for a good while. So it was wonderful to be doing on a fantastic film like this in Matera, Italy, which is a place from out of this world. It's just like stepping through time when you go to Matera. So it was a real privilege to shoot there. Wow, I hope they leave inspired. I know that they'll see themselves and really, there's so many characters to see themselves in, but really our hero, Clarence, who really goes from being someone of no spirituality and believing in nothing and really feeling down about himself to finding redemption and hope. And, and it's really moving in that way. And so I hope people are equally as moved and inspired. Working with James is amazing. He's crazy and I love him. And he, he is a genius, you know, and I love the way he goes at situations and how he writes his stories and you know how he bring it together. It's like Wonka Land. It's an adventure. Do you know what I mean? You're entering James's world. He's really collaborative, um, warm, kind. I mean you could see all the guys, because there's a lot of men basically, and young men, you know, they all respected him and he just treated everybody the same. It's you know fabulous atmosphere. It's wonderful. Stories are transcendent and they should be. That's what every good story is. When they say a story hasn't aged well or a film hasn't aged well, it's because it wasn't good in the first place or it wasn't good enough in the first place. This is timeless. The timeless ones don't have an age, so they don't have to age well or age badly. They are just what they are and they will always remain a classic. And what you're seeing with James's work are classics and they are going to age better than well. I'd say his energy, his enthusiasm, his dedication to storytelling and just, you know, creating something that's for people that look like me is, is, is special, you know, and, I, and, and you feed off of that energy each and every day and you just want to be part of something that lives longer than you, you get what I'm saying? And that's what we hopefully have accomplished with the Book of Clarence. His willingness to just be James and only be James and that doesn't matter if he has to 
test the boundaries and or push the boundary wall over. You feel me? He's just so so James and so me as a creator to never ask questions to myself and to risk, you know, everything for at least the smallest moment, right? That's what creates greatness. And James does that with everything. Sometimes it's a little bit like, I can't believe a part of all of this, but it's all greatness, you know, and, 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 it's, and it's a privilege and a pleasure to be part of it, for sure.